welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We are on another seven day stretch of call. Unfortunately, this time is on the west side, which means I'm going to be covering three hospitals, which is the bane of my existence. Because every time I'm on this call covering all three hospitals, I inevitably get called in for something. I hope you all can hear this because it's so loud. But anyways, we are about to start right now. It is Monday morning. I think I start off the day with a little fistula. Also, it's beautiful out today. And uh, let's get to work. And as per usual, I was so busy that I didn't really film anything today. And by not really anything today, I mean I didn't film anything. This thing is so loud. We are all good. I have no idea where I'm going. I found the little secret elevator in the back. And what I didn't mention is we are officially done today. Just did a mix of like bread and butter style cases today. Abscess strain, biopsies, another biopsy. Pretty chill, a few consults and we're all good. And as per usual, it is a beautiful day because it is springtime now. And hold on a second, let me get to the sun. Uh, the sun feels good. So in summary, not a bad day. It's about 4.30 p.m. right now, headed home, so you can't beat that. It's only Monday, six more days ago. So let's not get too carried away because even tomorrow is going to be a little bit busier. So you probably can't see me, but it is 2.30 in the morning. Just got called about an emergent bleed that wasn't an emergency, luckily. So I'm going to go back to sleep now. Okay, okay. It is officially Tuesday morning. As you can see, I woke up at about, what, 2.30, 3 a.m. I had to look at a CTA on a potential bleed. Uh, the patient was actually bleeding. There wasn't evidence of acute hemorrhage. However, the patient has had this bleed for probably about three days now and is stone cold stable. So there's no real reason for us to come in overnight to embolize bleed if the patient is stable. So what I told them was if the patient becomes unstable, we could come in and do an emergent procedure, but the patient has been stable for so many days now that I have a hard time believing that would happen. So we may just prophylactically embo it today on a non-emergent basis, but we're just gonna monitor and uh, we may not need an embo at all, so we'll see. It's actually not at the main hospital I'm at today, it's at one of the ones I'm covering. So, you know, when that happens, you have to tell the team because they obviously have to deal with it today uh, if they need to. So anyways, headed in today, have a few big cases, renal, angio, and a prostate embo. So let's get to it. All right, so we just finished today's procedure log, which is full of a ton of different stuff. But let me get out of here because the radio is playing and you probably can't hear me. So we did a ton of different procedures today. Prostate artery embolization to start the day, followed by a renal mass embolization, which was phenomenal. We did both of those cases so quickly. They were so easy, money. Then we did a whole bunch of biopsies, the lung nodule biopsies, liver mass biopsies, and now, waiting for the post lung biopsy chest x-rays before I get out of here. And it is now 4.15, probably- Interruption. It's now 4.15 and I will be getting out of here as soon as the post-operative chest x-ray is done. And that's pretty much it for today. Just started feeling a little tired as you can see. My contacts are starting to dry up and cause some scratchiness in my eyes. And this is what happens when I get tired and I get a little sleep. But what can you do? All right. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. Good morning. It is now Wednesday and I forgot what I'm doing today. Oh wait, yeah, so I'm doing three uterine fibroid embolizations today. However, two of them canceled, which it's kind of unfortunate because I love that procedure, but nonetheless, I still have one to do. And then doing a couple of add-ons, some biopsies here and there and whatnot. The good thing is I didn't get called in at all last night and I didn't even get called last night. Well, I got paged at 10, but at least I wasn't asleep yet. Also, might I add, I was taking the bus to work this morning and I was just scrolling through TikTok. If you don't follow me over there, go follow me over there. But I was scrolling through TikTok and I missed the bus stop that I was supposed to be off at 
and it's the last bus stop on that route. So I had to do like this whole loop and I was like literally 20 blocks away, so I had to run to work. So that's cool. All right, let's get to it. So I guess the weather took a little turn for the worse, but nonetheless, I'm leaving now. It's Wednesday afternoon, headed home right now. I just said I'm leaving right now and headed home right now. So that's cool. And that's pretty much it. Have some fresh home cooked meal from the mother-in-law as per usual. So I don't have to worry about dinner. All right, so this vlog has been pretty boring. I must say so myself. I did a few things today. Um, I will say that I did a uterine fibroid embolization in literally 15 minutes. It was like the easiest, quickest procedure ever. Did IBC filter and, so loud right here, and I also did a biopsy, all of that before noon, which is like record pace for up here in New York City. But it's a beautiful day right now, as you can see. I mean, look at how absolute beautiful it is. The sun is out, no longer raining. Probably gonna go home, sit on my rooftop and uh, read a book or something. And might I add, it's about 3.30 p.m. so this week isn't half bad. But I probably just see it myself. All right, so I just had to come into one of our good friends. Oh, forgot to press the elevator button. By the way, it's 1 a.m. right now and just had to check in on a PE patient. We're going to do a procedure on them, but we decided just to wait until the morning. That's the patient's table. So I'm going to go back home because I am exhausted. And like I said, it's 1 a.m. now and I gotta get this set up first thing in the morning. But while I wait for my Uber, I mean, look how bad I look, by the way. It's actually pretty warm outside. It's like 65, 70 degrees and it's not too bad. I almost didn't have to wear a jacket, but I did just because I like to just use my pockets. All right, so this hallway looks familiar. It's because I come here every time I'm on call on the west side. It is now 8.30 in the morning. As you remember, I was here last night at 1.30 in the morning. So I got a few hours of sleep and now we're back. We're going to do this procedure last night, but it wasn't emergent, it's just urgent. And we needed full support from anesthesia this morning and they weren't available overnight. So now I'm here, a couple hours of sleep, Feel pretty good. I actually showered, which made me feel even better because I wasn't going to shower because it's like 80 degrees in here when we work in this room at this hospital and I knew I'd just be sweating the whole time. So I just kind of committed to being disgusting for the next couple hours. But then I decided to take a shower because I was super tired and I feel like a million bucks. So let's get to work this lovely Saturday morning. Also, did you see how nice it was out there? Beautiful outside. So, remember when I got here at about 8.30 a.m.? Well, now it's 1.45 p.m. That was a very long case, but very successful. And I'm pretty tired right now. All right, so I took a little detour. Um, I was gonna go straight home, but then I realized that I haven't eaten pretty much anything today, so going to grab a salad at the local deli over here, take it back to my place and eat it, relax on my couch, and hopefully not get called in the rest of the weekend. And I know that's a bit ambitious. All right, so I just got home, had my salad, and as you can see, I'm on the couch, ready to pass out, probably take a quick little nap, and hopefully relax for the rest of the day, because I am starting to feel the tiredness right now. I was like pretty good when I had some coffee this morning, chugged another cup of coffee. I was good for the procedure, but now after I ate that big meal, I'm pretty tired. So, oh also, shout out Picmonic, not sponsored by the way, but love Picmonic. And uh, yeah, it's time to hit the old hay for me. See ya. And it's official, 
I did not get called in the rest of the weekend. It is now Monday morning, first thing in the morning, and I can officially say I no longer have to take West Call ever again in my entire life, which means I no longer have to go to those hospitals that I was on all week. So we're making progress here, and now I only have two more weeks of call left, so we are really making some progress here. I'm super pumped. Don't even care anymore because there's such limited call left for me. So I have clinic today right now. Uh, it doesn't start until about 1.30. I'm gonna go work out and uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of the week and hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.